Hey y'all, my name is Gabriella, and I'm gonna show you everything I eat in a day as a protein-focused vegan model. Hi guys, I'm Cassandra Rubino, and I'm gonna show you the five meals that I eat as a vegan bodybuilder. Hey guys, my name's Trevor. I'm gonna show you what I eat today as a vegan martial artist. So for breakfast, I started with these delicious vegan pancakes. They're packed with protein and it keeps me full for so long. So first I start making a vegan buttermilk with just a little bit of apple cider vinegar in my almond milk. Then I'm adding almond flour, oat flour, a little bit of sugar, some baking powder, and chia seeds for the omegas. And then there's just some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, and mixing all that up. I've truly started to like these more than traditional pancakes. I even add banana to it sometimes. So these are a great way to start my day because I will go and work out after eating these and it fuels my workout pretty well. I'm going to show you one of my easiest, quickest bodybuilding meals that I can possibly make for you. And it is my tofu scramble. So I like to start off with just a large skillet. I'm gonna spray the pan with some cooking spray, and then I wanna add onions and a cup of shredded Brussels sprouts. I really love just to get at least two cups of veggies with every meal, and once that is nice and sauteed, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tofu. So about six to eight ounces of tofu, and once that's all mashed up, I like to add my seasoning. Some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, and then saute that up. And then I love to add nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is probably one of my favorite spices to use. I saute that up in there, and then I add another tablespoon just to give me some more cheesy flavor. We're gonna head over and start to plate it. So I pretty much eat on a macronutrient diet. So I'm gonna have some toast with a little bit of butter for my fat, and then I'm gonna to top it off with some banana. And that is my tofu scramble. I love to eat this in the morning. It just keeps me full for at least three to four hours. On mornings, I'm not fasting. I like to start the day off with the oat smoothie bowls. It's an easy way to get in a lot of nutrients at one time. Put some fruit and almond milk in the smoothie. If the fruit is frozen, there's no need to add any ice. Blend it up. Get a small pot and bring some plant milk of your choice and some organic oats to a boil. After you let it cool, add the smoothie, add some fresh fruit on top, and you have an extremely tasty and filling breakfast. It's gonna satiate you for the rest of the day. After my workout, I go home and make my green smoothie. It's just kale, spinach, half a banana, some almond milk, and whatever vegan protein powder I have. And it's a good way to get extra protein in. I've been making this smoothie for years. I try not to ever miss a day. I've been obsessed with this smoothie. I think it gives my skin a healthy glow. I could feel myself dry if I miss a day. For my next meal, it's almost like a little taste of a burrito bowl. So I'm gonna saute some veggies. So I'm going to spray the pan with my cooking spray. And then I'm gonna add some peppers and onions to this skillet. I'm gonna make sure that they get nice and cooked and almost so you can put a fork through it. I'm gonna start off with some salt and pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder. I'm gonna add some turmeric some salt in there, and I'm going to saute that. Beautiful, I'm excited. All right, so now I have prepared some TPV. So this is gonna provide me about 20 grams of protein. I'm gonna add some rice and beans, and that's gonna give me about 25 grams of carbohydrates. Now I'll start to add my sauteed veggies to the bowl and give me my own homemade burrito bowl. I'm gonna add a little bit of diced tomatoes. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Yes, delicious as I knew it was gonna be. My favorite high protein, quick and easy meal, two cans of organic beans of your choice, simmer to medium heat for around five minutes. I just add your favorite seasonings to spice it up, making sure I reach my average of 160 grams per day of protein. For lunch, I'm having this protein pasta salad. I have this amazing tofu press that gets all the moisture out. This is a lifesaver. If you want to try tofu, this is what you need to get. For the tofu feta, it's apple cider vinegar, some oregano, some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of water and some lemon juice. And I shake that up and let it marinate for like two hours at least. And this was my leftovers from dinner last night. I use chickpea pasta and add some black olives, red onion, tomato, 
little bit of pesto that I had just frozen in my freezer. Funny enough, about two weeks before going vegan, I told somebody that I would never go vegan. I went vegan because of a health scare in my family. And doing research, I learned about how good it is for you and how important a plant-based diet is. And I fell in love with the idea of it. It tastes just like feta cheese. And then of course midday, I grab a protein bar. These things are my absolute favorite. For my protein shake, it's a quick boost of protein that will go right to my muscles right after I work out. I do drink a little bit of it before I start my workout. That energy is gonna come from my liquid carbs, which is some coconut water. So I add about a serving of coconut water, which is about 240 milligrams. That's gonna give me 11 to 12 grams of carbs. And then I have been using this protein powder for a little bit now. It's low in carbs, high in protein, and low in fat. I go ahead and just shake it up, and this is my little treat that I have protein boost right after I finish my workout. Big salads are amazing. Try to get as many colors in there as possible. Let's dive into the ingredients. First, I get a large bowl, fill it with some ice and add some water. This is to cleanse the kale leaves. I'm gonna use some apple cider vinegar and then rinse the leaves off with some water. I want to cut the stems off and cut the leaves to smaller pieces. I'm soaking them in water to cleanse the greens and also to rehydrate them. In the salad today, I used kale leaves, rainbow carrots, avocado and gala apple, along with nutritional yeast. I uh, put balsamic vinaigrette or whatever dressing I'm feeling that day, and then I'm ready to crush that salad. Loaded with antioxidants, vitamins, uh, minerals, protein, and almost everything uh, that's essential daily. For dinner, I made this couscous that's kind of loosely based off of the Mendocino Farms couscous. And the really cool thing about this is I make my own tofu out of red lentils, and I'll show you how to do that. So I start by putting rinsed red lentils into my blender and pour some boiling hot water over it. Let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Blend that all up till it's nice and smooth. And I add it to a pot on the stove at medium high heat with about a cup and a half of water. And then I just stir, 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 stir until it gets really thick and then transfer it to a glass container. Try to smooth it out and then this'll be my tofu. It's so simple, it saves me money and it's a much more natural tofu, especially for those who can't have soy or just want a less processed option. So we're gonna roast the cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. And then I'm just seasoning the tofu, throwing some olive oil, some onion powder, some spicy curry powder, a little bit of salt. I throw some almond flour in there instead of regular flour just because I like it a little bit more and it gives it kind of a nutty sweetness to it. Add a little bit of cinnamon and throw that in with the veggies. Going vegan and focusing on my protein has really been amazing for my body and that's why I've stuck with it. I start off with making my own homemade seitan for the week. So I start off with three cups of vital wheat gluten and I add some oregano and Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, garlic powder and onion powder, some nutritional yeast guys, one of my faves, and I start to mix up those dry ingredients. Then I'm going to add in my wet ingredients. So my wet ingredients consist of vegetable broth, some olive oil, some soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of liquid smoke. And then I'm gonna mix really, really well so there's no dry spots. It's important that you don't have any dry spots. You do wanna knead it a little bit, so if there is any dry spots, you can eliminate that by the kneading. And once it's kneaded, you can just make it into a football formation. And then I usually double tin foil it, so I'll have one tin foil, wrapping and then I'll flip it and then tin foil it again. So once that's ready to go, I'm gonna pop that in there for 90 minutes. So an hour and a half, it's gonna cook in the oven. Once it's out of the oven, I'm going to let it completely cool and then put it in the refrigerator for three to five hours so it can curate and then I'm ready to eat it. So while that's gonna be cooking, I'm gonna go and start preparing a peanut based noodles, about three fourths cup of natural peanut butter, and then I'm gonna add a one fourth cup of water, and then a tablespoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and then I'm going to add some ground ginger and some onion powder. And then I go ahead and add 
some hot sauce. I use Cholula there and I mix that up really well. Once that's mixed really well, you can set that aside and we're gonna move on to the pasta dish. And I'm going to add 12 ounces of cooked pasta to this mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of cooked edamame. I'm gonna add some spring mix in there, bell pepper, any color is fine, some green onion, and I'm going to go ahead and add the peanut sauce. So excited for this meal. I'm going to use my tongs and I'm going to evenly distribute all of the peanut sauce into this pasta dish. And with the number that I have on the scale, I'm gonna take those amount of grams and I'm gonna break them up into seven different meals. So I can get 35 grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein, and then 15 grams of fat. All right guys, so my seitan is ready and I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. I'm gonna show you just how I top it off. And this is what it looks like, guys. It's just a delicious loaf of seitan. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my scale again. And I already have my plated pasta dish on here, my peanut sauce. And all I need to do is add the amount of protein that I need for this meal. Now this is my post-workout meal. So that's another reason why it's one of my favorite meals because it is something that I'm going to eat within 45 minutes to an hour after I've worked out. You can tell on my face that I'm super excited about this meal and this one is probably one of my favorites. Spaghetti is a great meal that's quick but filling for all my hard gainers. Very budget friendly. First bring a large pot to a boil. The next add my whole wheat spaghetti noodles. And once the noodles are tender, uh, drain the water and add some spaghetti sauce to the noodles. Can't forget the nutritional yeast for that Parmesan cheese like taste. And definitely essential. For this meal, I'm going to be adding tempeh as my main source of protein today. So I'm going to add more of a smoky flavor palette to this tempeh today. I add some soy sauce in there and for soy Soy sauce, I'm just putting a healthy amount and then a small amount of liquid smoke. And then I add some black pepper in there, some garlic powder. I'm gonna add some smoked paprika. That gives you that hickory and smoky flavor. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because I forgot to add that. But once it sits and marinates for about 20, 25 minutes, then I will go ahead and saute that. While that's marinating, I'm gonna get my salad ready. So I add some romaine lettuce, some spring mix in there, and I just do a healthy mix with my hands. Now I add some cucumber in there, add some tomatoes in there, and then some onion. Sometimes I add purple onion, sometimes I add white onion. Again, helps me get at least two cups of veggies in. All right, so now we're back to the frying pan and I'm gonna add some soy sauce to the skillet. When the skillet starts to heat up, I start to flip each part of the tempeh over. Every side of the tempeh can absorb that flavor that's in the skillet. So once the tempeh is ready to go, I start to plate the salad and I do add some plantain croutons just to add a little crunch. And then I'm gonna put about four ounces of tempeh on there to get at least 20 to 25 grams of protein. I'm gonna add some balsamic and olive oil. I added some salt and pepper and some thyme in there because I like to keep it nice and fresh with my ingredients. It's just so good and so easy. 